I love me a nice hot beverage, especially in the fall when the days are getting cooler and shorter and it gets really cozy inside. I just love to add some flavor to my coffee, to my rooibos latte. However, when I look at store-bought creamers, I don't want to buy them just because the list of ingredients consists of things I can't even pronounce. And since I'm really big on whole foods and just giving my body real food that it recognizes as such, I make my own fall pumpkin spice creamer with real pumpkin. So here's the recipe. I started with some cashews that I soaked overnight, about a cup and a half. And I also like to add some pecans. It just gives it a great nutty flavor. And I just love the combination of the two. Add about three cups of water, or I actually just fill up my blender and then blend it for about 30 to 60 seconds until it's really fine. You really don't want to make it too fine or otherwise you can't really strain out the pulp too much. It does become a little bit more creamy though and you might not want to strain it, but I love to strain it just because it's less gritty then. Um, I put it in a strainer and a cheesecloth and I just let it sit for a while and it strains really nicely. It's very smooth and it's very silky actually. You can actually use the pulp if you dry it as a flour to bake with. I've done that before. I should have made pumpkin before but so I just poured the nut milk and stored it in the fridge and then I made some pumpkin because I didn't have any on hand. I made it in a crock pot, which is really easy. Just put it in, let it sit for a few hours on high, and then you can just scrape out the puree and it stays really fresh in the fridge for about a week and I use it for all kinds of stuff. All right, pour the nut milk back into the mixer and add some coconut milk, about half a cup. It gives it more creaminess and it just has a thickness. And I added real vanilla bean this time, wanted to splurge, it tastes so good. And about two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. I also added two, table, two teaspoons of pumpkin spice and just blend. I actually added a, a pinch of salt, which I didn't show, pour it in a bottle and it stays fresh for about a, yeah, about a week or so. You can also put it in ice cube trays and add it to like an iced coffee, which tastes really yummy. I just love pumpkin so much. I put it in anything and everything that I possibly can around this time of year to take advantage of what's in season. It's cheap, it's available everywhere, and it's nutritious, it's healthy, and it tastes amazing to me. If you're gonna try this recipe, please let me know in the comments. And if you have any other favorite flavors for your coffee or for your hot beverage, please let me know. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. I appreciate it so much. And subscribe if you have not already. Have a wonderful day, and I do hope to see you very soon.